Hello and welcome to this week's tip of the week with Brian from Alpha Training. This week's tip is without a doubt the strangest, weirdest word tip I have ever seen. And it is something that has the potential to save you a whole lot of time. Well, what it's called is the spike. The spike is a feature in Word that is not advertised anywhere. So if you don't see it in this video, you're probably never going to see it anywhere. The way it works is, remember the old days, the spike that a lot of stores would use to put receipts on? Well, there is such a tool in Word, and the way it works is, I've got this document, and I've just got some test paragraphs here, but let's say that you've been jotting down a whole lot of ideas, you're writing them out in paragraph form, but you're, you're not doing them in any particular order, you're just sort of getting them out of your head as you think of them. But once you've got them all written down, you then want to put them in the proper order. Well, you could always highlight and cut and paste and, and, and do a lot of moving around. But if you want to really optimize your time and you know the order that you're going to want these pieces of content in, here's the way we do it. We can go ahead and select a paragraph. So in this case, I've got this is my first paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph. So you can see the order that I want them in, but they're not the order that they need to be. So I can go ahead and select the paragraph. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my control key and hit the F3 key. And what that does is it cuts that piece of data out and it puts it on the spike. Now, that's, this is separate from the clipboard. It's not putting it on the clipboard. This is not a control C, control V situation. It's actually putting it in a completely different memory space. So I'm going to highlight my next piece of information, my second paragraph, and do a control F3. And then my third paragraph, control F3. My fourth paragraph, control F3, control F3. Get that highlighted. Oops, didn't do a good job there. Control F3, the last sixth paragraph, and the last paragraph, Control F3. Well, if I were to go to another document, I'm not going to do a Control V. I'm not going to do a paste. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the word spike. And you can see after I type the word spike, it gives me a little preview of the things that are currently sitting on the spike. Well, look what happens when I hit Enter. There are all my paragraphs in the nice, perfect order that they need to be. Now, there's another way that you can unload the spike, and that is if you do a control shift F3, then that will also unload the spike. So you can either type in the word spike and hit enter, or you can do a control shift F3. So if you have a lot of paragraphs that you need to move around and you want to do it quickly, just highlight the paragraph, control F3, lather, rinse, repeat on that so you get them all stacked up on the spike and then go to your destination and do a control shift F3 or type the word spike and hit enter and everything is laid out for you.